so thank you for clicking on my video and visiting my channel today i just wanted to show you all different kinds of exercises that you can use with one total body home equipment piece that i really love and it really can give you a total body burn total body workout it's portable it's light and it's cheap so bam we got our home pull-up bar right so let me move back a little bit home pull-up bar so there's a lot of different things as you'll see in the video for the rest of the video um, different exercises that i'm going to do using this that'll target your arms your core even your glutes and your legs you don't need to have a gym membership you don't need to be at a gym everybody needs to find their niche for what their best style of fitness and working out is that you are going to want to stick to what's uh, suitable for your lifestyle and all that jazz. If you can't go to the gym or it's too expensive or you don't have the transportation, purchase one of these off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, but I believe they even have them like everywhere now. Um, I had this forever, but um, I forget where I got it. But at the time, it was it was like just uh, just came out. Might have got it like at 2 a.m. at like those infomercials because I have a slight obsession with that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, that's probably where I bought it. But now they're like really popular, everybody uses them, even trainers and stuff in their uh, fitness classes. So I want to just tell you guys what you can do in your home that works best for you to get a little quick sweat, a little quick workout. You can use all the exercises that I'm gonna show. Um, you can put them in different methods. You can do uh, different sets or reps. Um, it really depends on you. I can kind of tell you that as uh, in the voiceover when I show you the exercises. But for now, I'm just gonna show you all different kinds of exercises that I can think of to kind of work all different areas of the body with this machine only. Um, so this is technically a pull-up bar, home gym type thing. So it does hook into the, um, the top of your door like this. So you can see this would be the pull-up or you could do a little wider grip. Really just any kind of door at home, you can use this to do pull-ups. You can also just take it off really easy and then you could just you know do all these different floor exercises as well. So we're gonna get started. Without further ado, let's get a little workout in. What's up guys? All right, so like I said, I'm just gonna do a quick little voiceover about what of each of these exercises are. So with this simple piece of equipment, you can just do this standard push-up here. This does also work if you wanna do it on your knees. And if you wanna make it even more challenging, you can lift a leg like you see me here, really kicking that foot to the sky to really activate those glutes and hamstrings even more to make it an even more challenging exercise. Um, Another variation of what you can do here, these are tricep extensions. So this is a great tricep exercise, really trying to bring those elbows towards the ground and pushing up. It's really challenging and much more difficult than it seems. So I would definitely just try your best on this and maybe you need to work up to this one. Um, you'll see in, the, uh, in a few other exercises, there will be another tricep one, the dips. They may be a little easier to start. Um, for this, this is a great booty building exercise. This is our glute bridge, and uh, we all love this one, especially the ladies. You really want to squeeze your glutes at the top here, and control and slow movement is really what's going to activate the glute here. And using that foot on the platform is going to give you a little bit more elevation to really get deeper depth into activating that glute. And as always, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you want to lift a leg and really push up using that one leg. It's really gonna kill your hamstrings and your glutes here. And um, as you see me here, just exhaling at the top of each move, keeping your core in tight. And that is another leg and booty focused exercise. Um, the next, what we're gonna do here, is we're just gonna pull the rack over our head. And as you see me, I'm holding the handles there. I'm just gonna use this, this is a good guide to keep your back straight in squats, which is a big issue I see in beginners when they're starting squats. As you can also see, my knee is over my ankle, which is very important. You don't want to let that knee go over that toe. You're going to be um, activating the wrong muscles there. And as you saw, I just smacked myself in the face. That hurt, by the way. But anyway, the, we got squats. Now, moving on to a little bit more of core work. We have our side plank here. You can use that to, um, as you see me here, holding the side of that exor uh, exercise machine and we're gonna reverse the other side. I stagger my legs here because it helps with a little bit more balance, but you can definitely stack your legs on top of each other for an even bigger challenge. 
Um, so this is going to be working those obliques, the same position that we have, except now we're going to bring those opposite knee to elbow and rep that out. And this is really, really challenging. Works those core, that core and works those obliques. I'm going to rep that out here. So for any of these exercises that we do, um, you can decide on how many reps and sets you want to do to challenge yourself. Um, a basic beginner way to start is just three sets of 10 reps of an exercise. That's definitely a good beginner and you can change that as you go. Here we have slow mountain climbers, really slow and controlled, and then we have our fast mountain climbers, really for that cardio and that extra um, cardiovascular activity. But this is a great core exercise as well as shoulder stability exercise. Um, what we're doing here is a modified burpee and it kind of works as a deadlift as well. The way I'm keeping my legs slightly bent as they go back, I'm really trying to engage that butt and those hamstrings like I would a deadlift. But I'm doing pretty much a modified level one burpee. I'm not jumping or anything when I get to the top. Uh, but you definitely could if you wanted to. But um, I didn't record that for this exercise. So this is a total body exercise as well as a cardiovascular um, exercise. And like I said earlier, these are going to be the dips. So these are going to be the other exercise that work those triceps and that chest in the front of the shoulder. So you really want to try to get those arms as bent as possible with those elbows going straight back the other direction. And you could do this with your knees bent or you, like you'll see, I'm going to straighten my legs, makes it a little bit difficult because it's kind of like a reverse plank so you do have some core work um, engaged here as well. So we're going to rep this out and like I was saying with the reps and the sets, um, you can also do each of these exercises for time if you'd rather do a circuit training style, um, but reps and sets works just as well and you can switch it up to really challenge your body. Here we just have these cross step overs and you really want to try to, with these, get your heel as high as you can towards your hand. It's really going to activate that oblique and challenge your muscles a little bit. So you don't have to do these fast. As you see, I'm doing this nice, slow, and controlled, and I still felt a great burn in my obliques. Almost done here. Got to readjust my glasses every two seconds. But here is another ab exercise with our feet flexed. Uh, we're just going to be going up and doing our roll-ups. As you can see, I'm when I'm coming down, I'm rolling back vertebrae by vertebrae, really controlling that contraction. Exhaling at the top and slowly bringing it down and whew, exhale and inhaling as I come down. Really using that uh, tool, this pull-up machine, home gym machine, as my guide to make sure that my shoulders are staying straight. I'm looking up to the sky and my back staying straight as well. It's really good um, for helping with posture for certain um, exercises, like specifically the squat. It's a good one to keep your squat. So as you can see, we're working all muscles uh, really with the body here. And this is just one really light machine that you can take anywhere and it's very minimal space um, involved with this. These are just simple bicep curls, activating those biceps. Obviously it's not a weight, so you're not looking to um, you know, build massive muscle with your biceps using this. But um, that pretty much wraps up the little workout we have here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So as you guys saw, I did all those different exercises, working all different kinds of muscle groups, talked you through it. What you can kind of do is just pick different reps amount, different sets, and you can kind of put those two together. You can put all the bicep exercises together, the abs, the arms, the, the butt, really just combine a whole bunch of di different things or pick one of each muscle group and kind of use that as your total body or if you want to focus it on one um, section of your body, um, you can kind of do that too. So this is a quick little uh, tutorial. Sorry, I'm still out of breath because I did that all without stopping. <laughs> but if you guys liked it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and share it with a friend because this is a quick, effective way to work out and we all kind of need that in this hectic, crazy life that we all have. See you next time and remember, real wealth is whole health. You can't take care of anybody else if you don't take care of yourself first.